I assume that answered everybody's question. No. I have a question. I, I think um, this is uh, very much in a utopian situation, I think. Um, I, are you taking into account every type of person or just people that are intelligent like yourself? First of all, uh, my own vision of the future is not utopian, and we did try to illustrate some of the downsides, uh, particularly the abuse of these technologies. Uh, we face that specter right now when biotechnology is currently reprogramming biology as a set of software processes away from cancer, away from disease, uh, but at the same time, it's also empowering a bioterrorist to reprogram a biological virus to be more deadly, and that could be done in a routine bioengineering laboratory in a college uh, today. So that's <laughs> promise versus peril. In fact, chapter eight of this book is the e deeply intertwined promise versus peril of genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics. And there's subtle issues as well, uh, threats on privacy, uh, mass decision-making. Is that good? Do we get the wisdom of crowds or the wisdom of lynch mobs? So my, my, my view is not utopian, and we do try to illustrate some of the downsides here. Uh, I'm myself an optimist that I think we'll make it through. I'm, I'm less optimistic that we'll make it through without any painful episodes. We, we do have those routinely. Uh, and you have to be an optimist to be an entrepreneur and an inventor. So, uh, uh, one other point. Yes, of course. Can everybody hear me, by the way? Is this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, sometimes people ask, well, you know, maybe government decisions or people not going along with this or movements against technology might derail uh, this exponential growth. Now, the exponential growth is itself not good or bad, as Vinod Kostel says, uh, it's power, and growing power, uh, which is within our hands. But is even the growth of that power inevitable? And that's really one of my key points, is the inevitability and predictability of this exponential growth of computation. Uh, in my speeches, I show dozens of graphs, and there, and there are many in this book, and we've updated these now. Uh, take uh, the number of MIPS per dollar. It's a very smooth exponential rise since the 1890 uh, census. And I noticed this 30 years ago because I wanted to time my own technology project, and I've been making forward-looking predictions. When it comes to these underlying measures of, of the power of information technology, price performance, bits per dollar, it's being moved around the internet per dollar, base pairs of DNA, I could mention 100 basic measures. They follow amazingly predictable trajectories. And, it's really, and we can talk more about why that is, but it really is an inexorable process. And it's pretty amazing when you consider that what we're measuring is what you would think would be the least predictable thing. It's the overall creativity and innovation and entrepreneurship in the world. And each project's unpredictable, but the overall result uh, is amazingly predictable and exponential. 